Welcome back to our Sonic Wall tutorial videos. My name is Joe, and this is a continuation of our SSL VPN configuration video, which I will link in the description below. But today I wanted to make a quick and easy video for those that are new to SSL VPN, uh, which provides a secure and remote access to your network using the NetExtender client. Um, NetExtender is an SSL VPN client for Windows or Linux users. Uh, it is downloaded transparently and that allows you to run any application securely on the company's network. It uses point-to-point -point protocol. And I already know someone in the comments will ask, so I'll go ahead and address it now. NetExtender is not the only VPN client for SonicWall. Um, the currently SonicWall supports Mobile Connect, Connect Tunnel, and Global VPN client. Alright, so let's jump in. All right, like always, I am using a lab box for training purposes here. Um, and in this scenario, the SSL VPN has already been configured and I was given the following information um, to work with. So I have a username and password for the user and I'm told that this user can only access their desktop um, in the network. So I went ahead and created an address object that has the IP address of that desktop um, beforehand already. So let's go ahead and create the user. First thing, we're gonna head over to device on the top, users on the left side, local users and groups. Here we're gonna click on add a user. And I'm just gonna copy and paste what I was given, the password super secret passcode like always there we go here are the other options um, you can have a user change the password at first login uh, you can have um, TOTP MFA uh, enabled we're just going to leave it like this I'm gonna head over to groups and this user needs to have SSL VPN services and for VPN access like I said, I already created the uh, address object with the IP address. I'm going to move it over to this other right side and I'm going to hit save. And that's it. The next step here would be uh, to download NetExtender. Uh, you have two options here. First is to download from sonicwall.com. Or another option is to download NetExtender via the virtual office page. Uh, so you would instruct your users to open a browser and enter the uh, public IP of your network, uh, colon 4433. This is the port. Uh, for example, if your public IP, your sonic wall is, reach is reachable with 1.1.1.1 from the WAN, and your SSL VPN is set up to use port 4433, you would navigate to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash 1.1.1.1 uh, colon 4433. Uh, and this will take him to the virtual office. Have him log in and click on the net extender. All right, so once you have the download, you're going to open it. And you are just going to click through for the install. Um, I always leave the settings as is. You just have to agree to the uh, license agreement. And I just click next here. Next. Next. Then it'll run the install and reboot your computer. Okay, so once your computer has rebooted, um, you'll be able to open NetExtender. Um, where it says server, you're going to enter the public IP of your network. Again, if it's 1.1.1.1, you would enter that, followed by colon and the port for your SSL VPN. Um, default, we typically see 4433. So I'm going to enter my IP and I'm going to hide it um, since it is a public IP. 4433. The username was 
here. Copy and paste that. And then here is the domain. Um, if you have not changed the domain, it's always going to be uh, local domain, capital L, capital D. I'm going to set, I'm going to click connect. You'll see this um, security alert. I, um, I always just hit always trust. This is for the certificate. Uh, again, the SSL VPN uses the self-signed certificate of the firewall. Ah, so, okay, this error here, uh, it indicates that uh, there are already two users connected to the SSL VPN in the network, and we only have two licenses. Um, so I would have to either purchase more licensing from SonicWall for the SSL VPN, um, or one of the other users would have to um, exit the SSL VPN so I could log into my computer. I'm glad that popped up so you could see what that looks like. Um, I'm going to hit close. But once you are connected to the SSL VPN, um, you could open RDP and start using or accessing that computer on your uh, company network. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. Um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're notified of future beta releases. And also check us out at firewalls.com where you can find uh, more information about our managed services. See you at the next video.